Using ScanWriter. The first step is to select the QuickBooks company. This shows a list of your different company files, and when you wish to work on them, simply click on the name or click Use Current and ScanWriter will automatically sync with the open QuickBooks company file. Next is Document Management. For new company files or new documents, you need a template for ScanWriter to know how to read the document. To expedite this process, we have a feature called the Public Library. It has a list of templates for various bank and credit card providers. Simply browse for the name of your provider. Once you have found the provider of your choice, click on the item, and then click on the template and download template. It is now in document management ready for use. Simply double click on the template. Next step is data import. You can browse for your document. Once you have selected your document, click read data. As you can see, we have the image of the document to the left and the data to the right. For a quick verification, you can click select all and total. This will sum up the deposit and the withdrawal amounts for you. You can compare this uh, with the summary on the first page. As you can see, the deposits and the withdrawals do match. Once you have verified the accuracy, click OK and then click Next to move on to the next window. This second window shows your chart of accounts and payee information. Go ahead and look at the checks. As you can see, it has filled in the vendors and the account. ScanWriter also syncs the chart of accounts in the QuickBooks company file. You, so you can change the account at any time if you need to. To make all the transactions valid, simply click the bank account that you want the transactions to be imported to. Once you click on the bank, click to the side and it will pre-fill for you. As you can see, these are all valid transactions ready for import. ScanWriter will now import the transactions as if you manually entered them in yourself. As you can see, it has imported 158 transactions in 49 seconds. Click OK. If you have any remaining work, you can always save it. Let's go ahead and take a look at these transactions inside QuickBooks. As you can see, these are all the transactions we just imported from ScanWriter. If you'd like to take a closer look, go ahead and double click on one of the transactions. And you can see that it has picked up the vendor name, the date, the amount, as well as the account. Also notice on the memo field there is a caret signifying that this transaction was imported by ScanWriter. And this concludes the video of how to import transactions into QuickBooks using ScanWriter.